It's the night before Thanksgiving. I hope you're all together with your loved ones. Uh, I really do. <laughs> it wasn't easy this year, I'm sure, because according to one study, Thanksgiving travel was expected to be the busiest in over 10 years. So I'd like to give a special hello to anyone watching on their phone, in the car, still stuck on the freeway. <laughs> It's totally worth it. Um, <laughs> but don't worry, the TSA says it's ready for the huge crowds and has new techniques to speed along the process. I'm kidding. <laughs> they're going to close two security lines and they're adding one guy to yell at you to take your shoes off. <laughs> and this was interesting. According to a new study, uh, I don't know if you saw this, families with different political beliefs spend less time together at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We needed a study for that? Is that something...? <laughs> I've lived here two years. I could have told you that in a heartbeat. 50% <laughs> of the people polled said politics is ruining Thanksgiving, while the other 50% said, no, you're ruining Thanksgiving. <laughs> a majority of Americans plan to completely avoid talking politics at Thanksgiving this year. Uh, that is until your brother takes a knee while your uncle says grace. Then it's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. Would you love it if someone did that? So awesome. <laughs> it, would make it would kind of be the best thing that could happen. Yes. If, if someone does do that, please send us a photo. Yes. I would love to see that photo of a whole family around a table just like, and then one brother just... <laughs> uh, and we, we couldn't believe this. I, this is absolutely true. We read this today. A, a restaurant in New York City is serving America's most expensive Thanksgiving dinner at a price tag of, and I, I'm completely serious, this Thanksgiving dinner costs $76,000. Yeah, the dinner includes a $3,000 gravy <laughs> made with rare bourbon, sweet potatoes and caviar. You know, just like the pilgrims ate. <laughs> $76,000 for Thanksgiving dinner. Although that is still $10 cheaper than buying the entire meal at Whole Foods. <laughs> Moving on, uh, if you have a slightly lower budget this year, you may be interested in this. Pringles has introduced something called uh, Thanksgiving dinner chips. These new potato... <laughs> really? <laughs> really? That's the reaction? <laughs> Do you even know what they are? I mean... <laughs> It's potato chips. They come in all different Thanksgiving flavours. It's like, it, it's, it's turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, cream corn and pumpkin pie. Yeah, you can... <laughs> look for them at your local grocery, grocery store in the divorced dad's aisle. That's where they'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think a Thanksgiving dinner in potato chip form sounds like a great conversation starter. And that conversation would start out like this. Dave? She's remarried, it's time to move on. <laughs> and finally, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I can't wait to watch it tomorrow. Macy's is introducing several new floats for the parade. Uh, the new additions include floats for Entenmann's Cakes, Green Giant Vegetables and Sour Patch Kids Candies. Yeah, which sounds like what Dave had for Thanksgiving before he discovered Pringles chips. <laughs> But Macy's is already running into political issues with this parade. Donald Trump is furious. He really is. Can we take a look at the Green Giant float again? Even the Jolly Green Giant is taking a knee. 